Hello guys, this is the Rodney1279 channel. It is November 20th, 2012 in which I'm doing this video. And I'm going to continue with my collection of my PS2 games here. So I'm going to go ahead and just start without delay. My next game is Pac-Man World 2. Now I have not played this game in a long while. Um, this game is uh, goes back to the 2000s when I brought this game. I rem remember buying this game at uh, Best Buy one time, but um, I have never beaten this game, but I got as far as finishing the level before the end of the game. So, this is a decent game if you're a Pac-Man fan. Pac-Man World 2. And I'm going to try to speed this up here. Alright, this is uh, Slugfest 2003. Now this game I had about 9 years, it's almost 10 years that I had this game. But basically, you know, it's baseball with a lot of violence in it. And on top of that, I used to play this game against my brother a whole lot uh, before I moved out of my mom's house. But this is a great game, a decent game. I have not played this game in a while. Maybe one of these days I'll play this game on camera. But we'll see. Slugfest 2003. Now this game is... Dora the Explorer Journey to the Planet. Now this game, I do not play that often and look at the rating on it. It's EC, so it's four little kids. I do, don't count on me playing this game on camera because it's a kid's game. But basically this game is for educational purposes. It uh, teaches their, their numbers, their colors, and their um, ABCs and stuff. And this is based off the Nick Jr. show Dora. And uh, this is Dora the Explorer. Okay, the next game I have is Monopoly Party. Now, I only played this game a couple of times um, because, I mean, this game, I like playing regular Monopoly. But the thing about this Monopoly game is everybody goes at the same time on one turn if you play Monopoly Party. Now, I don't like that aspect of Monopoly whatsoever that much, but I just like playing old-fashioned Monopoly. You can do the classic option with this Monopoly game if you want to, but um, I don't play this game that often, but if y'all want me to play this on camera, I will. This is Monopoly Party. Now, this game don't need no introduction here. Jeopardy for the PS2. I had this game since I uh, moved out of my mom's house. Uh, I moved out of my mom's house back in 2003. So this game I had for about nine, about eight and a half years maybe, because I think I brought this game in 2004 or something like that. Because I uh, had a... Um, I uh, just brought my PS2 when I had my new apartment, but this game is a great game show, one of my favorite game shows, next to Wheel of Fortune, and um, I don't have nothing more to say about this game other than this game has 5,200 clues in it, and the board goes from 200 to 1,000 on this game in the first round and 400 to 2,000 in the second round and you know there's Final Jeopardy so it's just basically Jeopardy so that's what this game is going through the list here now Madden 2005 I, wish, I recently re-brought this game back after it was stolen but this is back in my collection again I don't know if it works and I don't know how many scratches there is on this game, but I can tell you this. I used to play this a lot with my brother. And also, about this game, 
Um, I lose all the time against some of this. I'm not good at sports games at all, but when I do play sports games, I just play it for the fun of it. And this is Madden 2005. Here's another game that don't need any introduction here. This game is a uh, Wheel of Fortune for the PS2. And everybody loves this game because they be saying silly uh, uh, remarks like, Oh, why me? And most people use this expression because you spun it, numbsco. And also, for me, what I use is I say because you spun it, you idiot. But they also have great puzzles on this game. Let me look back here. There's 3,200 puzzles on this game that will keep you busy for days, weeks, and years. In my case, years. And you know, as some of y'all know, I've been a wheel watcher for over 30 years. And this is a great game. Wheel of Fortune for the PS2. Another game that don't need no introduction. This is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader for the PS2? Make the grade. Now, the only thing I'll explain about this game is this. This is based off of the Fox uh, version of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It has um, you have to uh, answer 10 questions to reach $500,000. And the final question, the 11th question, the last question is worth $1 million. Now, I've won the million dollars a few times while I played this game, but it's, it can be challenging. It can be challenging sometimes, especially for me, because it's been a long time since I was in the fifth grade, over 23 years to be exact. But this is a great game. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Another game that I don't that does not need introduction. This is a fam this is Family Feud for the PS2. Now this game, I think Matthew mentioned on this video that this game is a ripoff. And I tend to agree with him a little bit because I do not like the fact that you have to speed up and type in your response. Um, cause some of the time when I play the bonus round, I do not get all my responses in within that time limit. So a lot of times I end up losing the bonus round, but this family few game is interesting, a lot of fun, fun, but it is too challenging for me. If y'all want me to play this game, y'all can, but don't count me, count on me playing this game on camera anytime soon because it's a difficult game. And I try to play this, uh, version of family feud um, on the Richard Dawson tribute, but again, my PS3 was stolen at that time when I was trying to play it. But this is a family feud for the PS2. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. All right, another game I have. This is One Piece Carnival. This is a great party game. Um, this game is almost played. How can I describe this? Like blockbusters partially. You win the mini games to make a connection with your colors. Now this game I might play on camera. I have not played this game in a while and I have not played this game too often. But this is a fun game. I would, I would say. If y'all guys want to see me play One Piece Carnival, y'all can always put it in your comments. This is One Piece Carnival. I'm going to pick up the pace here. Okay, now this game is Dinosaur Shapes and Colors. It's a kid's game for two and through five years old. This game helps the kids learn their shapes and colors. Now, again, don't count on me to play this game on camera because this is a kid's game. Dinosaur Shapes and Colors. Another game I have, this is a... Another Buzz game I have, Buzz Robo Jam. This game is more of a party game. It's not a question game like the Buzz games that I have. This is a fun game. Um, it's a party game, so I don't play this as often as I would like to, but I might play it on camera if y'all request it. This is Buzz Junior Robo Jam. My other Buzz game, this is Buzz 
how to quiz. And this game um, is the questions about movies and things about Hollywood and stuff. So this is Buzz, the Hollywood quiz. I have about five Buzz games, by the way. Alright, now this is Think Fast. This game is sort of like Buzz, but it deals with Disney trivia. Disney trivia. I'm sure Aubrey will like that because he's a fan of Disney. And um, this is based off of the game show. And again, I don't usually play this game by myself. I usually play with people when there's a party. But um, this is an interesting game. You can use the buzz buzzers to play this game. Disney Think Fast. I'm going to pick this up here. Okay, now this is Mojo. This game is a ball where you have to uh, go into colors and uh, knock down blocks. It's like a puzzle game, and it's also a maze. This game is sort of almost like Marble Madness um, for the uh, 2000s. Now, I know many of you who remember Marble Madness. Marble Madness was a game that really sucked. It only had six levels, and the game only lasted about maybe 30 minutes or so, maybe less than that. And this is Mojo for the uh, PS2. Oops, I dropped my games. So I'll fix that later. All right. Four more games here. Hot Shot Golf 3. This is another game I have not played in a while. I intend on playing this on camera eventually. And this game you, is self-explanatory. You got all the um, PS2 characters on here. One character that is on here is John Daly, the golfer himself. And um, this is a fun, entertaining game. And um, I have not played this in a while, but I might play it on camera if y'all request it. Hot Shot Golf for the PS2. Got three more games left. Okay, Puzzle Challenge for and Crosswords. Now this game contains a lot of the puzzles that you can think of and it has a lot of crossword puzzles on here. I've not played this game in a while, but I might play this one on camera. That's if y'all request it. Puzzle Challenge and Crosswords. I have two more games left. And then I'll be done. I'm going to speed this along so I can finish on time. Okay, this one don't need no introduction. This is Trivia Pursuit on Hinge. And this game is basic trivia pursuit with a twist. They have a lot of funny questions on there that you don't think about every day. And this one is very entertaining. On here it has a lot of the famous people who ask the questions on here. And this is a T-rated game, so it's not appropriate for kids under 13. Trivia Pursuit on Hinge. And the last game is my favorite. Well, not all uh, the mix, but it's one of my favorite games. This is the Bible game. And the Bible game is sort of like Pressure Luck mixed with, um, um, mixed with um, Pac-Man Fever. It's also a party game. And the idea of this game is you have to uh, play on a gigantic game board and you have to stop the board. Um, and when you stop the board, you get points behind the board. Uh, you get points on the board as well as a mini game. And I might play this on camera. And then this has a lot of biblical questions on here on this game. I'm, and it's clear that I'm actually saved because y'all see... Um, that I answer a lot of those uh, uh, Old Testament and New Testament questions right on Jeopardy. So I read the Bible a lot. The Bible game for the PS2. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of my game collection for the PS2. And this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, and take care of everybody. Goodbye.